Figure 9 wants us to get the area of this part. Now you could come here and cut it across here and then across here and have one, two, three pieces to put together. But as soon as I see this, I think, what if this were one whole big unit? Why don't we just imagine that it's a whole unit that's, what, 10 by 13? So if we imagine if that were part of the figure, it'd be 130. Well, all I need to do now is come back and subtract this part that I don't really have from the 130. So imagine that it's closed, there the whole thing's 130, and then I just subtract this part that's really not there. Well, what's the distance across here? Well, if the bottom is 10, and here to here is 6, that means from here to here must be 4 with this right triangle. Now what's the area of a triangle? 1 half times its base times its height. Base and height being where the right angle is formed. So we have 4 and 2. So it's 1 half of 4 times 2. So half of 8 is 4. So we're simply going to subtract the 4, which is what the area of this little triangle happens to be. We're left with 126 squared units inside here. So we could fit 126 little squares inside this shape that we have here for figure 9.